All right, class, just going to walk you through one of the uh, homework problems from homework number 81. And this involves the uh, conditional distribution, so I'll show you how to get that part. I think that's the harder part here. Anyway, um, uh, this is uh, problem three from homework 81. And I can see that this is an independence test. So we're going to say that the level of education, which is here, and the health, which is across the top, are independent. That's HO. The alternative, H1, is always that they're dependent. Uh, let's check that. Okay, nice work. Uh, second part of the problem, we need the p-value. This is where we go to StackCrunch. I'm going to actually use StackCrunch twice. First to do the calculation of the p-value. I'm going to click the button, open in StackCrunch. And to do the calculation, it's under stat, tables, contingency, summary. The data, numerically anyway, underneath excellent, good, fair, and poor. The row labels are under education. And uh, this is ready to go for now. So I'm going to click compute. And I get a p-value here of 0.0004. So let's close. Actually, I'm going to leave this window because I'm going to need it in a minute anyway. But the p-value, 0.0004. Oh, to three decimal places, that's 000. Always watch out for that. Uh, make the proper conclusion. Because the p-value is low, I know I'm going to reject the null hypothesis. So that's either going to be A or D. And remember, when you reject the null hypothesis, that means that you do have enough evidence that H1 is true. In other words, that education and health are associated. And now to the last part, where I have to make a conditional distribution of health by level of education. That means that for the level of education, I need to figure out, uh, let's look at the table up above. I'm going to divide 124 by the total of that row. Then I'm going to divide 200 by the total of that row, 69 and 130. And that will tell me what percentage of high, uh, people that are not high school graduates have excellent health, good health, fair health, poor health. Okay, um, I'm going to reopen the StackCrunch window because I can get this directly from StackCrunch. I go through the same procedure, stat, tables, contingency with summary. Again, numerical data under excellent, good, fair, and poor, row labels under education. And if I click on row percent, that will give me the percent uh, of the total for each row. Column percent would have been if I was doing, let me just move this for a moment. Oops, sorry. If I was doing one for the levels of health, uh, what people with excellent health, what percentage are not high school graduates, high school graduates, and so on. But this time we were going the other direction. Um, also notice expected count is, if you ever need the expected frequency, just click on this display. And contributions to chi-square will basically tell you which box, oops, that never happened which box uh, contributes the most to chi-square. Anyway, let me click Compute, and we can see here, oops. Oh, I'm sorry. The numbers weren't the numbers I was used to seeing, but the problem regenerated itself since I worked through it a moment ago. So I've got 23.71% or 0.2371. Uh, here I've got 0.382. 0.132 and so on. So again, that was just using the row percent uh, display. 